Hey, this is me, LaShonda Henry here, creator of Sister Sense, the place where I help you make sense of making money online. Right now, you're looking at the cover of the May issue, the May 2011 issue of Sister Sense in print, my new print magazine. I'm doing this video because today I want to talk about what I call my five to fabulous transformation. For those of you out there who are interested in starting your own business, you want to transform your life, and I kind of want to talk about what I did and what you can do as well. So, so again, this is the Sister Sense and Prince cover for the May issue, and you can check that out at mag, M-A-G, dot sistersense.com. So yes, this is my five to fabulous, $500 startup to 50,000 plus business endeavor. This is something that, you know, it's been a long time coming, and I'm so happy, as you can see on the cover here, it's me, it's my little boo, my, my son, Christopher Eden Otley, aka CEO, yes, his initials are CEO, because he is a businessman in training. And I'm serious. I'm serious about entrepreneurship. I'm so blessed having learned how to be a full-time work-at-home mom. And uh, the whole concept of Sister Sense Magazine is sharing that information with other women entrepreneurs and men who are interested in doing the same thing for themselves. So one of the first things I do, as every magazine tends to have some sort of letter from the editor. And, and here I talk about, you know, the whole, you know, that Nike saying, just do it. I've always loved it because that's what you have to do in life. You, if you have a passion, if there's something that you're interested in getting done, just do it. Don't wait for something to be right. Don't wait for life to be perfect. Don't wait for somebody to find you and put you on the map. Get things done for yourself. That's what I, I did for myself. Um, the day that I realized I wanted to work for myself and work at home, I, I ran to Barnes and Nobles. I sat on that floor. <laughs> I started reading books business books and and work at home books and home-based business books and I you know I never looked back because the the whole plan for me was I was having my son um, I wanted to create a new life for myself and my family and I just had to do it so okay today I want to talk to you about the five to fabulous transformation um, what that concept is and essentially how you can apply it to yourself and again you can find um, this information out in the May issue of Sister Sense Magazine at mag.sistersense.com. So this is my five to fabulous transformation. And before I even get started, just so you're clear on this, for me, five to fabulous actually means a couple of things. One, five to fabulous is turning a $5 dream into a fabulous business. Two, five to fabulous is leaving the nine to five world and creating a world of your own. Three, five to fabulous is a way of life and the lessons you learn while you live it. I've, I've discovered on my journey of full-time work at home mom status this, um, what Five to Fabulous is, is something that I wanted to define for myself and, and define for you so that you can apply it to yourself. So how do you live a fabulous life? Do you have to be born into it? Is it enough to dream about it? How long do you have to work for it? I spent the last decade of my life searching for a fabulous life. While for some that means fame and fortune, for me it meant getting paid to do what I love and spend time with the people I loved. Like a woman on a serious mission, year after year, I went through this process of creating and waiting, creating and waiting. I turned any and sometimes every idea into a possible profit stream. Is it gonna work? Is this a new business? What can I do to make money? I never really knew what would work. All I knew was that I had to keep going and keep doing, patiently waiting to get somewhere until one day I realized I had finally arrived. My signs of success were very, very subtle. I had no clue I had made it <laughs> at that point because I, you know, I've been grind in grind mode for so long. Um, I started to work less and spend more time with my son. So little things, subtle things were changing. I had more money to spend and more opportunities to save. My social circle got bigger. I got started to meet new people and new people wanted to know me. My client list grew larger. And for the first time I realized many of the people I followed and admired for years were now following me. <laughs> no matter how up or how down any given day turned out to be, I could see my life becoming fabulous. Going from side hustle sister to full-time work-at-home mom was my fapped five to fabulous transformation. My business is 
full of passion, purpose, and profit. My days are full of mommy moments, new adventures, and endless possibilities. By my definition, I am living a five to fabulous life, and it is my mission to help other women learn how to do the same. Now, Five to Fabulous Essentials. Five to Fabulous is not a business model or a marketing strategy, just to be clear on that. It's a way of life and the lessons you learn while you live it. While reflecting on my Five to Fabulous journey thus far, I comprised a list of five essentials, those things that I believe can help each of us live the best life. Essential number one is vision. Without vision, you have no direction. Vision is twofold. Moving forward in life means having a clear vision of what you want and what you are working for. When I was young and eager to start my own business, I didn't clearly define what kind of business I wanted. For me, that resulted in years of trying anything I thought was good until I kind of fell into things that worked. Looking back, I regret not taking the time to clearly define my business goals, as opposed to telling myself, I just want to make money online. I wish I would have said something more concrete, like I want to make money online by writing ebooks and developing a website, something very specific. With clear goals, it's so much easier to know for, um, for me, or I should say it's so much easier for you to see progress. I know what I want my business to look like. So rather than spend my time stumbling in the dark, I now spend my time making things happen. And that's essentially what I want for you. On the flip side, vision is also knowing what you are working for. When I was just doing stuff as a side hustle hobby, my business took longer to reach its full potential because essentially I was doing the nine to five thing. I had money in my pocket, so I really didn't need to push the business and work for the profit because it was extra, extra stuff. When I became a mom with bills and a baby to take care of, things changed. Being sad, giving up, and ending up broke, none of those things were options because I knew I was working to provide for my family. So again, knowing what you're working for is essential. Every day spent working towards our vision is one day closer to achieving it. Define what you want to achieve and why you are trying to achieve it. These are the things that will keep you grounded and determine what, how you move forward when you feel like giving up. So again, you need to know what's going to ground you, what's going to motivate you to move forward, because if you don't have that clarity and that vision, it's so easy to give up. Another essential is health. When my body ain't right, my business ain't right. With youth and determination on my side, I was able to work 18 hour days and stare at a computer for as long as my eyes would permit. As a 20 something turned into 30 something, my body and my mind stopped being on the same page. (laughs) I'm a lot older now, so I can't quite do the things I used to do in college. And I learned a couple of things about that. You know, I kept thinking I could work long hours on a poor diet and overstressed limbs, but my body was screaming otherwise. When I felt like I was literally about to fall apart, I stopped working. I took a look in the mirror and I cried for more hours than I care to remember. I regret letting my body get away from me and vow never to do that again. I now know the key to living a fabulous life is not solely dependent on building a fabulous business and making fabulous money. A big part of enjoying this life is looking good and feeling good. Taking better care of me helped me understand something. The better I felt and looked, the more attractive my business became because guess what? I'm the face of my business. You're the face of your business. So if you're looking kind of screwed up, it's time to fix your face. (laughs) Now, with that realization, I stopped saying I couldn't make time to take care of myself because taking care of me has to be a vital part of every single day. Wealth. Making just enough to make it is not enough. As a side hustle sister, city girl from a single parent household, I had to learn about money because money was not a big thing. It was, you know, the thing that we always strive for, but not the thing that we necessarily had a lot of. So I know how to squeeze a budget, work a a budget and just make enough to survive. Now, knowing how to survive off of very little, I used to tell myself, I just need to make enough to be comfortable. I just need to make a little bit more. But as I started making more money and not feeling like 
like I was comfortable. I realized that I was stuck in survival mode. Truth, wealth isn't it about making enough to get by. That's not wealth. It's about having enough to live the life you want, create the life you want for your children. And of course, knowing how to spend the money that you make is essential because if you make a lot of money and you just waste it or spend it poorly, you're still poor. Making more and learning how to make the most of what you have goes hand in hand. Learning how to budget and live within your means, live within my means, that helps me stretch those dollars just as much as generating more sales and attracting new clients. Balance. When my family is not happy, I am not happy. In this life, everybody dies, but not everybody lives. You feel me on that? In this life, everybody dies, but not everybody lives. If you want to live, if you want to turn dreams into reality, at some point, you have to roll up your sleeves, work hard, and burn the midnight oil. As you work through that night and you see your seed growing and your business is taking off, then you got to take a moment and check your internal clock to see if it's time to come up for air. Now, When I got lost in my work because I was in grind mode, all I could see was my to-do list and an ever-growing pile of emails and new clients and questions and projects and more, 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 more. And I could hear the faint sound of my son, my little CEO, going, can you read me a story? (laughs) I could hear the agitated sound in my voice when I'm saying to him, not now, mommy's busy, not now, maybe later, I'm going to come, I'm going to I'm going to come, I'm going to help you, I'm going to read to you. Okay, sweetie, I understand, but I'm busy. Come back later. I heard that little voice begging for attention until I knew it was time to make a change. Finding balance is tricky. You seriously and literally have to break the habits before they break you. You have to adjust your hours by clearly defining when work ends and your life begins. You have to prioritize loved ones as much as generating funds. You have to ignore emails and phone calls even when your gut ties up in knots until you get used to putting the mom back in work at home mom. Shopping, movies, dinners, gym, a night out with the friends and the family. Don't tell yourself you'll make time for these things when the business starts to take off because the business is never going to take care of itself. You're always gonna have to do that. So you, at some point, are gonna have to find balance in your life before it has to come and find you. Another essential is a plan. Your plan doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be real. Every dream comes true for me started with a real plan. Every dream come true, everything that happened, every idea just come to life started with a real plan. I never had perfect plans. As I said to you before, I kind of fell into things and I was just kind of throwing things up until I figured out, you know, through trial and ever what really worked for me. Some of them didn't work and some of them barely worked, but they were all perfect to me. And you know why? Because they were real, because they gave me something to do, something to move forward towards. And the closer I move forward towards my goal, the more I achieve them. In other words, every plan I created was built on practical solutions. Can I afford this? Can I do this on my own? Can I get this done in this amount of time? If it fails, how big is the loss? Can I break even at the very least? Can I tweak it? Can I fix it? If I move that, what will happen? Practical solutions, simple plans to step-by-step get me closer to my goals and achieving them. Every real plan started with a real vision. I wanted to write this ebook. I wrote it. I wanted to start this coaching program. I created it. You know, a real plan, a real vision, everything I wanted to do. As my hubby, he says, I'm kind of (laughs) ASAP. He says, if I was a superhero on my chest, would be printed out ASAP, ASAP, because I get things done as soon as possible, turning those plans into visions, those visions into reality. You have to set very clear goals for yourself. 
even when a goal is big, break it down into bite-sized pieces until you are full of strategies, lessons learned, accomplishments, mistakes, of course, because mistakes are part of the business process, is a part of the learning process, new ideas for the future. As the saying goes, if you fail to plan, then you are planning to fail. So these are essentially my five essentials, how I govern every aspect of my life. They keep me focused, balanced in better health, with growing wealth, and as productive as I can possibly be. The simple act of waking up, getting out of your head, putting one foot in front of the other and working towards what you want can help you get exactly where you want to be. I feel blessed because I now know that it's possible to live your best life. You just need to know and learn how to live it. So these are my five to fabulous essentials that I featured in the first issue of Sister Sense magazine at mag.sistersense.com. You know, if you want to watch this video again, definitely do that. If you want to go and soak up all the information that I share in this particular issue of Sister Sense magazine, definitely do that because essentially I want you to create your own five to fabulous essentials chart. Um, it's your turn to create your own five to fabulous essentials. Uh, you can do one. One of two. One option is you can apply my five essentials to your life. In a few words, think about where you are versus where you want to be with respect to your vision, health, wealth, balance, and a plan. So you can write that down. You can break it down into those five categories. Vision, health, wealth, balance, and plan. And think about where you want to be versus where you are for those particular essentials. Option number two is you can go completely off the scale. You can create your own essentials list. Describe five things that you believe are vital to your own business, how you run your business and how you run your life overall. And of course, if you would like to share your five to fabulous chart with me, you can definitely do so by emailing me at lhenry at sistersense.com. So yes, those are my five to fabulous recommendations for you. That's my five to fabulous transformation in Sister Sense in print magazine. Again, you can get this and other issues at mag.sistersense.com. I've got a wealth of information, as you can tell, all these different, all these years of me working for myself and I'm, I'm growing and I still have a lot of growing to you to do, but everything I learn, everything I learn, I love sharing with you. So again, you can get that at mag, M-A-G dot sistersense.com. You can follow me on my money and marketing blog, of course, sistersense.com. And last but not least, if you really want to get to know me <laughs> and you really want me to kind of share my, my lessons with you so you can apply that to your business, join my weekly calls. I've got a group for women entrepreneurs. We get on the call every week and I share my, my money and marketing advice. And you can get information about that in my Sister Sense circle at circle.sistersense.tv. So start transforming, start living your best life. More to come. Bye.